Returning to the fold this afternoon. Okay, the last one Recent is moving trial up, winner right. at Lark Hill. Ready, the line is complete. Clear. They're racing. Campaign had missed the kick about a length or so. The first to jump, Amaliago, Milady, and now coming over, DeAndy's looking for the lead as well. And Truly Belong is going to settle in just behind those. Sigil going forward now in front of La Bionda. Campaign making up ground with Halusa dropping out last. It's the grey, DeAndy searching for the lead, trying to head Milady. 800 to go, and on the outside, he goes to the lead now, DeAndy's, and draws about a length and a half, Milady, and then Sigil third. Amaliago's back on the inside in fourth spot from last. There's Halusa circling the field. 600 from home. Truly belong back there and ridden along is La Bionda. Campaign again relegated to the tail. Up nearing the bend though and DeAndy's at the 450. Will straighten for the judge. Clear from Sigil. Halusa going up now. Three deep. Milady over on the inside. Ridden along coming into it. Then Amaliago and Pike is now into the open with Truly belong with La Bionda making ground also. At the 250. DeAndy's showing the persuade of the leader. Tackled by Halusa, Sigil in the middle, down the outside, Truly Belong and La Bionda, they're across the track with 50 to go, Truly Belong, La Bionda, campaign coming from well back, Truly Belong, La Bionda, Truly Belong, Truly Belong, I thought just scrambled home from La Bionda in a tight go and campaign third after being slow away. Close up behind them, there is Milady, Sigil, and also Halusa, Amaliago, and dropping out to finish near the tail of the field is the pacemaker, DeAndes. Number six, Truly Belong, muscled over the line by William Pike to win it. Number six, Truly Belong, and that's a double for the sire today in uh, showcasing, who stamped the debutante showmanship earlier, who carried the same colours, Beats La Bionda and Campaign. A back marker's finish. Truly belong by showcasing from Satin Queen for Peter's Investments. Prepared by Adam Durant. Written by William Pike over La Bionda. Jerry Noski for Colin Webster. And uh, Campaign, written by Sean McGruddy for Chris Ganjemi, will be third home. We're standing by for official placings. Now to come to hand, uh, it jumped well, truly belong, and then she got back a little into the field. Campaign had missed the kick from its wide gate and was back towards the rear. La Bionda back there with it as well. DeAndy's had them running. Halusa made a charge and peaked. Sigil was there fleetingly. Milady battling, but it was the swoopers that finished off better than them and truly belong with the shades on here today and Pike getting it home to uh, bring up the second leg of a double for him and also Peter's investments. And that's the fourth win in 25 for Truly Belong. Over 11, La Bionda, and seven campaign. Fourth to number two, Halusa, 6 11, 7, 2. Ahead by half ahead, the margins, the time one fourteen two zero, and the sectional 36, 9, 1. And it'll be paying for you 550 and 170 there, the winner, Truly Belong. Runner-up, La Bionda, three dollars even, and seven campaign around four eighty. The Schweppes handicap is next at four ten. Over thirteen hundred ten to Hoon comes out. Jason Brown will ride number twelve in Katusha. As we rejoin Brittany Taylor with uh, Pikey on his way back in after really having to lift truly belong home to salute in the previous for the day, Britt. Certainly, Darren. I've got Bob Peters with me now. And, Bob, 578 days since Truly Belong last saluted. You've shown a lot of patience with her. Were you ever tempted to send her to the breeding barn early or was she always showing enough in her runs to justify to continue racing? No, she's very sound. She's never had anything wrong with her, all, her whole life. And uh, she's been a bit unlucky in some of her races. And even today, the race was just a little bit too short for her, I thought. But she still got there. She certainly did. This is the second horse today that you've had win by showcasing. What's the attraction for you to that sire? Oh, he's a very nice sire. I quite like him. He doesn't uh, shuttle anymore. He, they, they thought he was too good and he'd just stay in, um, in Europe. It's a nice performance here by Truly Belong. What uh, are the plans for her coming up? Uh, well, we've entered in a sale at the end of the, in about two weeks' time, so uh, that'll probably be where she'll go. She appears to be a nice buy for someone looking for a horse who is sound and consistent. Yes, I think just over, you know, 13, 1,400 a mile. She's, uh, she's got another couple left in her for someone. Well done, Bob. Thank you. Bob Peters there winning with Truly Belong and we'll catch up with Willie Pike who brings up his third winner of the day. This horse, it's been a long time between drinks for, but today, what was the difference for her? 
Uh, I'm not really sure. I think the, the, good, the good barrier allowed me to sort of fire out and, and still hold a good spot. Um, yeah, I thought it was a nice effort. I think she's still looking for a bit further. So I think she's done well to, to, um, you know, to sit that bit closer and still find the line. When Molly Clark took off, were you happy to see that, just to be able to find the back of something to see to you being taken into the race? Yeah, pretty much. Um, I was happy to see, you know, more pressure up the front, the better. So I was happy to see a little bit of, uh, little bit of movement out there, so give you options. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. William Pike, Bob Peters and Adam Durant combined.